Hello everyone, I'm Edward Brucker. I'm finally going to make an attempt to get rid of this. Dust. I'm finally installing my dust collector. My wife calls this place out here my dust factory. And rightfully so. I've been doing woodworking for uh, two and a half, three years now. And I don't own a dust collector. So, it's time to install one. Okay, this is my Grizzly dust collector. I also want to go ahead and put in a dust separator to pre-separate chips and stuff. And then I'll plug this into basically two runs. One that will support my um, table saw as well as my router. And then on the other run will be my, my band saw and my drill press with blast gates controlling everything. I can also pull it and use it to sweep up the floors and do that, all that kind of stuff. So I'm really looking forward to getting this up and running. Pretty sure having one of these will make a drastic improvement in how clean my shop is. This plate is a plate that allow you not only to sit it down, it acts as feet if you take it somewhere, but it, it is also what allows you to hang it to the wall. And the wall plate, right, goes like this, and then it hangs like that. Okay? So what I need to do is I'm going to rotate this. And I'm going to just go ahead and put these nuts in. Or these bolts. Excuse me. Went ahead and I finished screwing in the base. Now another thing we have to do is we have to put this foam insulation around. Uh, this is where the clamp will clamp onto and hold the, um, the bag on. Now, they don't really show exactly where to stick it, but I'm pretty sure you stick it, the clamp and everything, on this side of the ridge. I mean, it seems to make sense that that's, the ridge helps hold that on. So, I'm just going to go ahead, and this foam is, you know, it's got sticky stuff, right? And I'm just going to go around. Of course it will do that. Okay. The tape is not coming off very well. Right? So there, it overlaps, obviously. I don't think we want it to overlap. Okay, so I'll just get a knife and cut this. And I'll cut all the way down. All right. So I can take this piece off. Lift this piece up. Take that. And I got a perfect fit. Okay. So then they give me a band clamp that wraps around it. I'll have to re-straighten it out because it was bent all which ways, but it should be okay. And then that would wrap around. And then this will lock it tightly in place. Not too bad. And then I have a bag. Now this bag it came with the unit. It is five microns, which is not very good. This just goes around like that. Actually, I guess, yeah. Like there is a draw string. I think it's just to help it. the whole thing now. Now you want to try to get this where there's no gaps and all that jazz but um, just for the demonstration that's how it go. Now what we have left to do is mount this bracket on the wall. This is the bracket that mounts to the wall and holds this unit on that base plate we put on. They don't provide you with anything to mount this to the wall. So 
it's off to uh, one of those big box stores to get some lag screws to go into the wall. And what I'm going to mount the dust collector 42 inches from the ground. Right there. Okay. And then I will draw a level line. That'll be for mounting the plate. So I just want to line this up in the center of the holes, right? Like that. Okay. There's my position, right? To go ahead and drill. Now the center one gets a lag screw right into the stud. And that's the one that's gonna support the most of the weight. And the other two get heavy duty kind of wall anchors that support about 75 pounds a piece. The, the support is mainly gonna be on the stud. Okay, I checked up the appropriate bit. And it helps if I... actually a stud there. Ah, I got a stud. Cool. I don't know why. I hope it's a stud. There's some gas in there, don't Okay. So, I'll stick this in. Go ahead and tighten this in. drywall screws really aren't doing a very good job. Okay, so what I decided to do to strengthen this up is I'm going to attach this board that will allow me to put screws through. I'll be able to go ahead and put the center bolt through as well as attach this board to the stud and gives me something to mount the other two holes. So the weight will be supported pretty much from the center stud and then the others will keep everything level as well as taking some of the weight off that center stud. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna find the center, which is six inches. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Okay, so I drew a couple places to drill holes as well as to drill a shank hole here to allow that center uh, lag screw to go through. So uh, I'm gonna head over to the drill press and drill these out. First holes I'm gonna drill is these two holes here that allow for the screws to screw into the stud. Okay, those two holes are accounted for. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and drill the center hole for the shank of the lag screw. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and drill the countersink for these two holes. Okay. So the next two holes will go somewhere in here. But we'll wait until this is attached to the wall, and I'll actually drill them with the uh, with a, a hand drill, so we can get the placement and level everything out. So let's head back to the wall. Okay, what I what I've done is I put the block of wood on the wall, and I uh, put the lag screw in a little to kind of just hold it in place. I'm going to go ahead and level it. All right, there we go, it's pretty level. So now I'm gonna go ahead and drive these screws in. Right. 
too. Okay. Now, what I'll do is I'll back this lag screw back out. It's only in a couple of turns. Take the plate with the lag screw and I'll attach that again. And go ahead and I'll tighten that. Almost completely down. I'll flip that right side. And I'll go ahead and I'll get ready to level this piece. Now it's more important that this piece is level compared to the back piece. The back piece was just kind of for show. This, this bracket is actually showing the, we're actually holding up the whole dust collector unit. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and drill a pilot hole right on there and one there. So I have two pilot holes. So now we have that in position. And there we go. One problem I'm seeing, my air intake for my motor here is a little close to this dust collector part. Okay. One of the things I decided to do is I, I changed it up. Um, this was hanging there, no problem. I had no issues with it. It was about here. The one problem, well, there were a couple issues, but as far as it hanging, it, it was fine. Um, but the one issue I had was it put this over right up against the motor to my bandsaw. So there wasn't really enough room for the bag the bag is going to be pretty big, right? So there wasn't the room for that bag, so I would have to move my drill or my um, my bandsaw down, taking up valuable space on the other side. I have my wood rack, so what I did is I put up this bigger board, and I mounted here. I should have a stud right here, but I don't, and it's because of the way the house meets. I don't know, but there's no stud here. This is not in a stud. And I try not to put anything on it right now until I can find a better way to attach it. Um, so that's kind of one of the reasons. So I put this big board with these studs to give it plenty of support. And then these are lag screwed into this, as well as I think I did find a stud back here. Um, it's not here, it's here. So the center actually goes into long bolt in through the in through the stud of the wall. There's a wall that goes that way inside our house. So that's over here. Now I can slide the drill press down a little bit this way. That's fine. A couple inches. Plenty of room for the bag. Then uh, uh, coming off of this, we'll go over to a pre-separator over there. Then it will feed back this way. I know it's not the correct way. It's, it's really the only way I can do it. Um, but then I'll have a pipe running back here that will feed the bandsaw and then a smaller with a blast gate to just come up here and collect the dust with maybe like a, a flex hose or something to collect the dust from the drill press. Now next what I have is I have one of these doohickeys. It is a remote for the dust collector. Right? And what I'm what I think I'm gonna do so I'm going to take one of these and I'm going to get a, like a carabiner 
where I can put it on a belt loop and stick it in my pocket. And uh, I can turn on the dust collector remotely. So this is going to have to get mounted on the wall. It's not really that big of a deal. Mount it over here, maybe even right there. And uh, the power for the dust collector will come up and plug into that. Right? And then this will go to the outlet. Right? So I'm going to mount it up here. It has an antenna. I just want to make sure the antenna doesn't come up past past the lumber rack because I don't want to accidentally bend it. So, but it should do the quick. The the it should do the trick. It should do the quick. It should do the trick. Um, my shop's not that big, so I'm not really worried about range or anything. So now I have the bag. The bag will come up. Take free as possible. All right, go ahead. That. So there we go. The bag's on. Install the remote. Now it hangs there. I'd like to clean up the wires eventually once I get more done, but let's give it a shot. Oh, there's a switch here. It's an on and off. Flipped my breaker, and I didn't have any tools running. It was uh, these 200 watt bulbs, and my dust collector flipped the breaker. So my father-in-law said he's going to come and help me. Uh, we're going to send up some 230 amp outlets or uh, runs up here, uh, in two separate runs. Uh, as well as improve the lighting, um, go with some fluorescence in here. Uh, I think that's going to be necessary before I can use this. Um, I could probably kill the lights and, and just go ahead and use it. It's uh, 15 amp, so I should be able to use it, but that's a concern. So, go ahead and uh, I think I'm pretty much done for the night. So. It'll work though. Eventually, once we get the power situations worked out, the power in here is not ideal. It's it's it, uh, it's scary at times. It's it's a system of extension cords and um, because I only they only put one outlet in this entire shop over on the one wall uh, that's on the house side that's the only outlet that was in here just this one outlet um, so lighting's been bad uh, we really need to rework it and this is something that I'll probably be doing um, shortly uh, usually after Christmas I, I it's become shop time it's I, I just got done doing the Christmas rush of gifts and stuff, and it's time to reflect on what worked and what didn't work in the shop, and and I think that's what we're going to need to do. Um, running new lights and new power out here, two two brand new circuits. Um, I think that's what we need. So, or at least a 15 amp for this, and then because um, I never really run more than one tool at once. Um, I've, I've flipped the breaker a lot with a heater and, a, and the table saw, um, but if I could put one circuit, this on a circuit, and I'd probably be good for everything else because I only do run one tool at a time. <laughs>